Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be continuing off of my last video, which I kind of cut you guys off short. So I'm going to be showing you the girls and their cage. So they're actually hiding right now because I had to give them, I was holding them and stuff. So I will show you their cage and all their supplies I have for them. So this is what their cage looks like. It's pretty big. So I built it, uh, I built the cage and then we put some chloroplast in it so it's easier to clean. I also set them on top of some bins so it's higher up because I do have two dogs. I don't think they'll, they would go in and attack them. It's just better to be safe than sorry. And then, all right, so let's start off at the bottom. I have two cage liners that I made and sewed myself. Um, some of it, some spots are weird, like right here is a good example, because my sewing machine was acting up and glitching, so it would sew and then it would go, and then keep sewing, but it would like, I don't know, it was frustrating, but I fixed it now. So, two cage liners. Um, I was going to make one big one, but someone said to make two smaller ones because it's easier to wash, so thank you to the person that said that. Okay, let's start over here. So we have some some we had a little house a wooden house you see it at petco pet smart really popular i definitely recommend it because mango who is the bigger one loves it one of my guinea pigs is obsessed with it that's her favorite place to go and s'mores my rabbit has a bigger version of that and she loves it definitely recommend and i have some timothy hay in the side of that then we have some pellets, and this is how they gave them the pellets at the place because they said they'll go and they'll eat them as they want. They won't overfeed themselves. The only thing that they'll, if you just left a bunch of it in, that they would overeat would be the veggies. But So you limit the veggies, but you give them a constant supply of pellets. And then I just have three toys over here. That's the apple one. I got that at Petco. And then the flip and roll. That's available on my website and a timothy twist and it they come in a bag of six and that's also on my website this is a stuffed animal from their old um from their old cage the lady there said they love stuffed animals they love snuggling with them so she gave us that stuffed animal which was really nice because she said they loved it okay then we have two water bottles and I have these under them. Again, they're wonky because my sewing machine was being dumb. This was all sewed before I fixed it. See how they're all like wonky? Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not really, it's not like I'm selling them there for me. So I don't really need to worry about the quality too much. But, so yeah, so this is the, um, so these are little pads and they're so if the water drips on them once they start drinking water if they haven't drank any water yet which is fine because they've only been here this is day two or morning two of them being here so these if they get soaked i can just remove them instead of having to remove the whole pad so i have one under each then i have two of my snuggle sacks these are size large and they're actually perfect for them so that was a limited edition one, so it's no longer available. You can only win it if you enter the raffle. This one is a monkey one, monkey print. It's, it's available in my shop if you want to get one. Not this one, I'm keeping this one, but if you want to get one, you can get it on my shop. Size large, best size. Peach is in there right now. She loves the snuggle sacks. She's absolutely obsessed with them. So I'm glad I have a lot of them. Then I have this tube. This tube actually, it was the cheapest tube I could find. Um, because it had this like, it's supposed to be nesting. It's not safe at all. So I just took all the nesting out. Made sure I got all of it out. And then I just used the tube part. I'll save the nesting as stuffing for something. Then I have that colorful chew. I have a litter box. Um, it just has cedar pellets underneath it, and it has a bunch of timothy hay on top. And then I have this hay feeder. So that's the whole cage. Now I'll go over... <laughs> Peach is digging around in her snuggle sack. Okay. Um, and then I did have a big, long red tunnel in here. But... Okay, so sorry if you heard or hear my dogs barking, but someone just got home. So, um, yeah, so... 
I did have a long red tunnel. It was on my post on Instagram. If you want to go follow their Instagram, it's peach and mango. Oh, no. Peach and mango the guineas or mango and peach the guineas. I'll pop it up on the screen because I don't remember which one it is. But, yeah. So, I posted on their Instagram a picture of the cage. And it had a big long red tunnel in it. So, I had to remove it because of peach's... Um, neurological problem I had to remove it because she constantly pees and sometimes doesn't know she does it she's usually pretty good about it but the thing is that tunnel is made of like a mesh material so it doesn't absorb the urine but the cage line everything else in here will absorb it so that's fine but the reason why I want to remember to absorb it is because when she peed in that tunnel she turned back around and walked right through it and it got all over her stomach and I had a, and she did it twice, so I had to give her a bath twice in the same day, within like an hour. And this is not good, if you didn't know, this is actually is not good for them at all, because they can get pee burns on them, and it's, it, it's really painful. So I had to give her a bath, but I don't want to be constantly giving her baths, because they don't need baths often, except for when, obviously, they pee on themselves. Which I am expecting to give her baths more than you would normally give a guinea pig a bath anyways. It's just I don't want to be giving her five a day because then it would associate me being bad and I'm trying to bond, uh, not bond them, tame them right now. So, yeah, so that's my little explanation of that. Okay, now if we look under their cage, I have some bigger stuff stored under there. And then these are their two bins. So, let's go and take a look at what's in them. Okay, so if we take a look at what's in this first bin, this bin has most of their stuff. The other bin is kind of empty right now because uh, it's going to hold all of their fleece items and I haven't made all of them yet. The ones that I have made are pretty much in their cage or in their run and I'll show you their run after. So let's just take a look at everything. So first off, we have paper towels to clean their cage. I'm going to be cleaning their cage like a full deep clean once a week and I'm going to be spot cleaning twice a week. I'm not twice a week, twice a day. So the difference between the spot clean and a full cage clean, I'll just tell you what my idea of it is. So a full cage clean would be taking out the cage liners and washing them and putting new ones in, taking everything. Uh, so basically the only difference is going to be taking out the cage liners and the snuggle sacks if I hadn't changed them recently. And then a spot clean is going to be me going through the litter box, going through all the hay racks, making sure they have enough hay, looking in the pellet dish, making sure they have enough pellets, spot cleaning all the poops and everything, um, cleaning out their water bottles. I'm going to be doing that at night probably, only once. I'm going to be doing that at night because I want to make sure the water is circulating so then it doesn't cause slime in the water bottle. And then I'm going to be adjusting things if they move things around. Also, I'll be checking the snuggle sacks to see if they um, peed or poop. Well, if they pooped in it, I'll just shake it out into a trash can. If they peed in it, then I'll switch it out because I don't want them laying in their own pee. So, yeah, but they haven't. These snuggle sacks have been in for three days and they haven't peed in it yet. So I'm only going to change them if they pee in it. And if they don't pee in it, then at the end of the week, then I'll change it. I'm going to do. I'm going to be doing full spot cleans on Saturday. And that also includes when I take out the cage liners, I'm going to be wiping down the whole thing, which is what the paper towels are for. So I'm just telling you the difference. Oh, also, I have little, I showed, I don't know if I showed you, I have little pads under the water bottles. And those will also be washed as well, because I'm guessing water will be on them if, like, if they're not already changed. So then I have this spray to clean their cage. It's safe for them. It's not bleach. Don't worry. Bleach is not safe at all. It's a uh, vinegar water spray. Um, but like very weak. Next thing. Um, oat hay. Timothy hay. The oat hay I'm not going to be using for them because they need Timothy hay. Uh, I'm going to go and bring that into my rabbit's area. I should put it in here for now. We have Timothy hay, and then their pellets. They're eating adult guinea pig food right now. Here, I'll move it back a little so you can see. Adult guinea pig food by Oxbow right now. And then we have these three papers. So this pink one is just shows their birthday, and it's making sure that we understand 
what we signed up for in guinea pigs and if we don't take proper care of them saying that the shelter has permission to take them back which is good that they do that i'm glad they do that this yellow one is a care sheet it's telling them exactly how they take care of them and how you should take care of them which is really good i really like that and i looked at it and it looks pretty good as well they suggested t like different tools and things like the um bathing they recommended a good shampoo for them um i haven't had to use any shampoo yet because it's not like she poops she just peed so i just rinsed her off um and then this is for critical care because peach well peach has to have critical care daily and it shows it's hard to read but it shows how much she should be having so that's what that green paper is all right now over here these are baby wipes they're mostly water they're called water wipes so they're just baby wipes but with water in them and no chemicals so i got those ones and then some extras of the timothy twists again these are available in my shop they come in bags of six i have three in here now one of them in their cage and two in s'mores my rabbit's cage then i have an extra green food dish and then i have the critical care for peach peach has to get critical care i'll explain why in the next video and then i also oops i have these two unopened syringes and then i have two open syringes to give her the critical care and her other um things so Peach also needs critical care daily and vitamin C. So they, the lady gives two extras. I do have two already for them. Um, I need to clean it though. And then um, there's also a small pink. It looks like the green dish, but smaller and pink. And that's for, um, that's for Peach's critical care when I have to mix it up. All right, now if we move on to the middle area. So, if you look, here I'm a little closer. This is the carrier that I used to bring them home in. It's, I cleaned it out and everything, so it's all set. And then over here, I have this house. Oh, there's a bag under there. That's just what their stuff came in. So then I have this house because the lady said that this was their favorite place to hide and sleep in at the sanctuary. So when I'm going to be switching up their cage, I'm going to be using this house because the lady says every time you clean their cage, like deep clean their cage to put in new things and rearrange things because they like to explore. So I'll be using that um, on Saturday when I clean their cage, to, a deep clean their cage. I keep on saying clean, I do clean it twice a day. And then these, whoops, the lady at the place said whenever you get drinks to get the drink trays, the place actually gave us two. And because what she likes to do, she likes to put hay in them. And then the guinea pigs will tear up the cardboard and they'll flip it around just so it's really funny. So that's that. All right, and then like I said, this last bin, not a lot is going on because I haven't made a lot of the fleece items yet. I made the stuff that I needed for them. So I have the cuddle cup in there. Um, and then I have that the tunnel that I can't use right now. Okay, now let's go and take a look at their pen. So this is their pen all along here. And the lady said to give them a nice big area to run around in. I'm not going to trust them in my room because they won't, like, I've only had them a few days and they're not really tame yet. So I still, I'm working on the taming process. And it's really simple because I want them to mostly be running around. So I did get, put two snuggle sacks in there so they have places to hide. But I really wanted them to run around. So I sit in there for a little bit and they usually hide in the same snuggle sack. And I'll feed them and stuff. I like to hand feed them so they get used to the sets so part of taming. And then, yeah. So that's all of their stuff I have right now. Um, I am going to be making a fabric tunnel, two cuddle cups, and um, 
four, five, six more snuggle sacks for them as, as I need to change them out. And um, two more sets of cage liners. So I have a lot of stuff to make. I just made the stuff that I need. So I'm probably gonna work on the cage liners next because I need those for Saturday. But yeah, so that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you like the tour of the guinea pigs cage. So be sure to like and subscribe to this video and I'll see you guys next time. Also, don't forget to follow our Instagram. Bye.